What does the Bible teach about business? That's what we'll uncover together on the Business in His Image podcast. This show explores strategies from the Bible that will help you grow your business, strengthen your walk with Jesus, and help you reach your God-given potential as an entrepreneur. The Bible is filled with practical wisdom to help you live for God while using your gifts. Let's unpack what that means for you and how you can use biblical truths to build a thriving business that honors Christ. Now it's time to dive in. I'm really looking forward to this episode topic today. I'm going to be talking about what the Bible says about delegating. Now, if you are anything like me, delegating might be difficult for you. And there's a number of reasons for that. At times, we have this thought within ourselves that no one out there will be able to do a particular task as well as us. And it's just not true. Now, I've struggled with this for a very long time, and it's actually been pretty difficult for me to get to a a point where I feel comfortable outsourcing to other people. There have been times where I tried and things did not turn out the way that I would have liked them to. But let me share a little story with you before I get into the meat of the message today. Previously, I worked in-house for about a year and a half at an amazing company. And while I was working there, seeing the work culture, the environment, and the way that people worked for this company really, really inspired me. I saw such talent, such talented people, and they treated the company as if it was their own. And while I was working there, it really opened my eyes that there are people out there who can do a better job than me in certain tasks in my business. It opened my eyes that there are people out there who are willing to work with excellence and do a great job. The key is number one, prayer. And number two, doing a great job hiring. So I've been learning a lot about this lately, and I would love to share with you what God has been showing me. Recently, over the past few weeks, I keep getting this message about delegating. And I want to share with you today something in the Bible in particular that God showed me from 2 Chronicles chapter 2. So I'm going to be kind of skipping around the chapter. I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but I want to read a few key verses that I think are really going to help you understand what God has to say about delegating because delegating is all over the Bible. Jesus had 12 apostles that walked with him in his ministry. Then we also read in the book of Acts, there was a situation where some of the widows were being neglected in the daily food and the apostles had to appoint people to help them with that service. They said that, you know, their main calling was prayer and the word of God and they had to focus on that primary calling. But that other job still needed to get done, right? It just wasn't for them to do. So what did they do? They outsourced it to somebody else, right? They prayerfully picked out some other brothers in Christ who could handle that job, who were godly, who were capable. And that's really what it comes down to is finding people who are capable. So that's what we're going to get into. I'm going to be reading from 2 Chronicles chapter 2. I'm going to read the first few verses here and then I'm going to skip down to some of the main key points from this chapter. It reads, Solomon gave orders to build a temple for the name of the Lord and a royal palace for himself. He conscripted 70,000 men as carriers and 80,000 as stone cutters in the hills and 3,600 as foremen over them. Solomon sent this message to Hiram, king of Tyre. Now, I'm going to skip through a few verses here to get to a main part of that message that he sent the king. Verse 7, send me therefore a man skilled to work in gold and silver, bronze and iron, and in purple, crimson and blue yarn, and experience in the art of engraving to work in Judah and Jerusalem with my skilled workers whom my father David provided. Wow. So in this verse right here, we are seeing that he was very specific about what he was looking for. Number one, he was looking for someone who was very skilled and he was very specific about the areas of skill that he needed, right, for this job. And what I thought was also interesting is that he asked for a referral. These are some things that I'm picking up here in the scripture and it's so practical. We can apply this to our own business, to our own hiring process, right? This is so good. Then further down, here in this chapter, the king of Hiram responds to Solomon. And I'm going to be starting here in verse 13. He said, I am sending you Huram Abai, a man of great skill, 
Now, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, whose mother was from Dan and whose father was from Tyr. He is trained to work in gold and silver, bronze and iron, stone and wood, and with purple and blue and crimson yarn and fine linen. He is experienced in all kinds of engraving and can execute any design given to him. He will work with your skilled workers and with those of my Lord David, your father. This was so good. This really, really spoke to me when I first read this. And I just want to encourage you that if you are at a place in your business where you feel burnt out, you feel like you're doing too much, you're overworking, but at the same time, you want to grow your business forward. Let me tell you, friend, that there is no other way but to outsource. It's not possible to scale your business without a team to some extent. Now, if you want to keep your business small and you want to cap it, then yeah, you can continue on being a solopreneur and do everything yourself. But if you really want to scale and you want to grow, then you are going to need to get comfortable delegating to other people. And I just want to encourage you that if you have kind of that perfection mentality where it feels difficult to communicate to someone else how to execute maybe the way you would, let me encourage you that with the proper SOPs and getting really good at hiring through prayer, the Lord will bring you the right people. I am at a stage in my own business where I'm looking to grow my team and outsource more And initially, I felt a lot of resistance to wanting to do it. But as time goes on and God continues to open my eyes to how to do it well and the potential, I feel better and better about doing it. Just think about all the other people that will be blessed by the jobs that you will create through your business, right? Trust God with this process. Ask him to give you wisdom. Start doing some research about hiring before you just jump into it. Let me tell you, one of the mistakes that I made in the past was number one, going off of my own instincts, going off of how I feel, the likability of a person. Oh, I really like this person. I think they're a great fit. Not really knowing how to hire is one of the things that's really going to trip you up in finding the right person for your business. So do a lot of research about hiring, interviewing, and make sure that you are creating systems and procedures and documenting them so that when you onboard this new hire, whether it's as a contractor or as an employee, they are getting the proper training to execute your vision, right? With the proper training, someone else can learn it. There are some things in your business that maybe people will not be able to execute the way that you would, but most of the time, people can learn. They just need the proper training. So I just really want to encourage you in this. If you are in that place where you know you need to start delegating, start doing some research, start prayerfully considering the next steps that you need to take to move that forward. So I just want to encourage you with that today. If there's someone that you can speak to, whether it's a mentor or another entrepreneur friend, and maybe if they have hired before, you can ask them for advice. It's great having a network of people that you can go to and ask for advice. Now, if you are looking to delegate, I want to walk you through some quick actionable steps to help you. I have talked a lot about why you should and how God can help you do it, but let me break it down step by step quickly before we close. So number one, you need to decide what needs to be delegated in your business. Maybe write out a list of tasks, write out what you spend most of your time on. Maybe you even need to do a time tracking experiment where you actually track your time in your business and what you're spending your time on. Then from there, you're going to be able to identify where you're spending your time and how you need to spend your time differently. It's really going to help you. Then number two, create systems and document your SOPs. SOPs stand for standard operating procedures. It's just a fancy business term for the step-by-step instructions that you would give someone to complete a task. It's very simple. So you just want to document those and write it out. So let's just say you were going to outsource a social media manager, right? Then you want to go ahead and document the steps that you take to execute your social media marketing each day, each week, each month, so that you will be able to properly train that person that comes in. So this can apply to any aspect of your business. It could be marketing, it could be administrative tasks, anything at all. Number three, you want to learn how to hire. I touched on this earlier in this episode, but you want to get really good at hiring 
find out the questions that you need to ask for that particular role that you are trying to hire for and maybe even figure out a small test project that you can give someone, maybe even pay them for it so that you can pick between some of the top candidates and see who's really going to be a good fit for that role. Number four, pray. Even fast about who God wants you to hire for your business. Really take time to pray over those applicants and pray for the Spirit of God to lead you to the right person. This is really the most important aspect, I believe, because the Lord knows the end from the beginning and He already knows who's going to be a perfect fit for your company. Then number five, you want to put out a really, really good job posting or as people you know, request referrals, right? Like Solomon did. But you do want to have a really solid job description that you can share, even if it's with someone you know. You want to be super specific. Remember that scripture that I shared from Second Chronicles chapter 2, verse 7. When Solomon was looking for someone to help, he was very specific about what he was looking for. So be really specific about your expectations, the tasks of the job. You want to also make sure that you're being realistic about expectations and you're not putting out a job role that is requiring all these varied specialized skills from just one person for one role, right? So you do want to be careful about that as well. Remember that delegating in your business is going to help you scale. It's going to give you more freedom, avoid burnout. It's going to help you not be tied down to your business. So if you, God forbid, get sick or you need to take a vacation, you have systems in place. There are people in place that will be able to help you run your business. So your business should be able to run without you there 24 seven. And also it's going to bless other people, provide jobs and help the flow of the economy. So there are so many benefits to outsourcing and I just pray that the Lord will lead you and guide you in your outsourcing journey as you look to delegate more in your business. Thank you for listening to the Business in His Image podcast with me, your host, Joe Harris. If this show has blessed you, please share it with a friend and subscribe so that you can be notified when we release new episodes. My prayer is that God will help you soak up every bit of what you've heard today and help you apply it to your business so that you can see results. I'll see you next time and may God bless you.